8.53 right now. I have to use the bathroom really bad, so I'll be right back. Okay, now, as we speak, it's 9.02, so I only have so much time, but good morning. Long time, no see, I know. Um, it has been a while. I just recently got back from a trip, literally yesterday, and before then, I really wanted to, you know, film a video for you guys to make sure I had something to upload while I was there. I wasn't in love with the content. It felt really rushed and I didn't want it to just feel like a video I was filming just to get something up. So I didn't even end up doing anything with that or getting enough for that. Yeah, today's different. The next couple of days are going to be pretty fun. And also just, you know, I just got back from a trip, so I need to unpack and just do things of that nature also. But I also am leaving again not tomorrow but the next day <sighs> yeah we have a lot going on but all good things but i actually have somewhere i need to be at 10 it's nine o'clock so i'm gonna go ahead and get up i do want to do my makeup for this and just for the day in general and i'm not gonna eat a huge breakfast before i go i'll probably do that when i get back um so for now i'm actually gonna go down to the lobby and have someone open the mail room because i had these lashes delivered that i want to order today unless they were delivered to my mailbox but i highly doubt it let me see. Yeah, I do not have a lot of time. At least I'm up. <laughs> Delivered yesterday to where? Left in the mail room. Yeah, we have to go downstairs. Okay, so fast forward just a bit. I decided after looking at the distance of how, how far this place is and when I'll get there, it actually made no sense to even attempt to go get lashes to go do my makeup because I will be late and that's the last thing I want to be. So I'm just going to do everything but that. Wash my face, brush my teeth, get dressed, and probably eat a little something on the way. Oh, I forgot to have a Mighty Pack on. This pimple, it doesn't look bad, but it hurts. I'm gonna see if the dryer actually dried my clothes because sometimes it'll just dry them for like 10 minutes and then just decide it wants to not finish. And then I wake up with soggy clothes, so let's see. Yeah, I'm literally half done when they dry. I don't get it. I don't know what I'm wearing. There's nothing in here. We'll get some more today. This battery is about to die. Oh, I don't know what to wear. These are details I could really focus on the night before. Why is it saying it's done when it's not? I wear I have jeans I could wear that are still in my suitcase maybe I could just throw those on with the top it's not super important but let's just see what's in my suitcase with the shirt this bra and oh I know stop here before uh, let me get underwear before after and now as far as my hair we could leave it down we could you know put a couple pieces back at least for now i don't like this shirt that I have at 10. I had absolutely no time to really do anything, get dressed and 
that's about it um i did not eat anything which you guys know is very unlike me and you know it's not gonna stay that way so once i'm done with this we're gonna go i kind of want to go to starbucks but the last three days that i was on vacation we had starbucks for breakfast every morning so actually you know where i'm gonna go i may actually go to this cafe instead that's really good you know i've been there once before and i think i'll be close to one once i arrive to the area but yeah their orange juice was bomb i haven't had their coffee yet but they, i got a really good breakfast sandwich and i haven't even seen the whole menu yet so maybe we're going to do that i was wondering why this place was so far but i think it's just traffic and people getting to work at this time there we go This is pretty much what it's going to be like all day in and out. I already looked at the weather. I woke up randomly at 7 a.m. And it was raining worse than this. It was so bad. Outside my window, it seriously looks like a yellowish gray tint. It was kind of scary. But I was half asleep. And rain is also kind of relaxing when you're sleeping. So I just went back to bed. But yeah, today is definitely going to be a rainy day. I don't mind it though as long as I'm not in it. And I do have an umbrella um, in the trunk, I think. So we'll be good. But damn, this is bad like it's raining really hard but anytime it rains this bad it probably won't last more than 10 minutes or so you just got to be careful driving in it Update. It is now 10 38. I have sat in this random parking lot for the last 30 minutes 30 minutes trying to get in contact with somebody that could help me find the exact location Help me with parking anything when I tell you I called at least 10 times Probably more just to get in contact with somebody just have someone pick up the phone I emailed I messaged on their website. Yeah, literally nothing. So horrible first impression huge waste of time and gas i drove 30 minutes to get here but whatever i just need to eat and i'll be fine that was just like y'all could have said something beforehand that says enough in itself the cafe that i was telling you guys about it is only seven minutes from here so we are gonna go here to eat because i'm hungry and i miss breakfast for this it's okay though i'm glad it happened because i wouldn't have known if i didn't try it Okay, so I'm back in the car now and basically this place is a Cuban cafe and one time when I was getting my toes done literally right behind me I was given food from this cafe and it was so good So I don't even know exactly what I got if I'm being completely honest I literally got this big ass Bro, this is like a sub full of queso and egg and bacon I'm, oh, Okay, it's at least cut in half. Oh, it's hot. I can tell it's gonna be good. It's just not not what I wanted um, I'll eat it though. It's basically just the bread that I like couldn't really but it is a Cuban cafe So yeah, that's why I was nervous to go in because I knew I don't I didn't know if I was gonna be able to exactly communicate what I wanted to get but I also got a tres leches and I've tried tres leches multiple times since I've been here I've never had it until I moved here and it's so good like i've not had better cake but i've also tried it from multiple places since i've had it from here which is the first time i ever had it but nothing has beat this one so far it's so good it comes in this little cup like this has whipped cream on the top a little bit of cherry on the top oh my gosh it's like it's perfect <gasps> it's dripping cake for breakfast can't get any better the only thing i actually ordered in spanish was hugo de naranja but this isn't even like what i wanted <laughs> i just got nervous and the orange juice is also good but i wanted like the smoothie i'm not saying i couldn't have ordered it if it was in english but there was just like a slight language barrier so yeah and i was nervous so i literally just was like yep yep that's fine because i just it's probably gonna be good mm -hmm. and this isn't like dull orange juice like this is fresh squeezed you can tell by the color and the way it tastes very good
all right guys so i'm back home right now it is 1 p.m still pretty early in the day considering when i normally wake up and get my day started so i'll be back home for probably like a good 30 minutes or so i haven't really done anything this weather is definitely like you know like you try to not allow it to affect you it's not bad it's just I feel like it's, I don't know, I'm just never as productive or... This weather just makes me want to lay in bed. That's it. And I just feel like it's the perfect excuse to do so when you have the time. But um, I do want to straighten up my place, unpack, and eat. Those are really the main things I would like to do right now. And it's only one, so if I, you know, just put my phone down and set a timer for a good hour and a half, I would literally be fine. So with that being said, I think it's just better to get started. But yeah, that breakfast sandwich I had, I don't... It was good for a couple bites, but it just wasn't what I wanted. So I'm going to go ahead and make food here. I'm still going to eat breakfast food. Also, since I am leaving again out of town very soon. My dumbass left turkey bacon out of the fridge all night. So I forgot it was in there. I'll just have eggs, a bagel, and uh, one of these yogurt drinks. But as far as my trip, I didn't tell you guys anything about my trip. It was so much fun. It was the definition of a weekend getaway. You know, I live in Florida now. I live in Miami, and this was always the place that I would come to if I wanted to, you know, go on vacation in the summer. This was the place to be. Like, this is where I always wanted to come. Not Miami specifically. It was more Orlando because I have friends up there. I wasn't too close with anyone here at the time. So, yeah, you know, Orlando was a place to go. And ever since I've lived here, here, I've yet to actually go and visit. It's so different now. You know, instead of having to take a two and a half hour flight to get to Orlando, I can just drive there. And although it's a little bit further of a drive, it's still so much closer than it was when I lived in North Carolina. I didn't think, I mean, any other part of Florida feels so much different than Miami. Like, it's so hard to explain, but it's just the vibe. And even being in Orlando, it just felt so different, but in a really good way. Definitely gives, I mean, Miami gives vacation vibes. A lot of people come here to visit but for me now that lives here it's like i gotta go somewhere else for a vacation you know what i'm saying i could you know do vacation activities here which i still thoroughly enjoy but yeah for a weekend getaway i'm not gonna get away in Miami, you know what I'm saying? Got an Airbnb, it was very pretty and open. It was sitting on top of this, it was like a beach resort sitting on top of this lake. And this beach resort, it was like an apartment complex. So some people lived there and a lot of people were vacationing there. And they had the pool, the hot tub in the back. I love hot tubs, so that was really nice. But the main reason we went was to go to Universal. I've not been to Universal in maybe two years or so. And it was so much fun. The difference about this Universal trip compared to the others is that I actually rode a roller coaster i've never actually been on a real roller coaster before the only roller coaster i've been on was i don't know if you guys have ever been a fun spot in orlando where they have that wooden roller coaster yeah i've been on that but i wouldn't even consider that like a roller coaster roller coaster so i went on the i forgot what it's called yeah the hop the hollywood rip ride rocket roller coaster when i tell you well before i went on that i went on the drop tower that they have i hadn't even been on a drop tower that tall so went on that it was horrifying but it was also so much fun at the same time and that's i think that's what gave me the confidence to go on the roller coaster and at that point it's like okay fuck it. like you know once you're on it there's no going back and if you guys have ever been on that roller coaster it starts where you're literally going up at completely vertical on your back and then it goes to the top it stops for a second and then you drop you would think me or i would think myself me as someone who is all about a good adrenaline rush like i'd be one that would be all over roller coasters but honestly i was horrified um but as long as it's a ride where I know I'm gonna make it out alive, that's all That's all I wanna know. So Universal was pretty promising. Went on that and I absolutely loved it. And that roller coaster gave me the confidence to be willing to go on the Hulk. But we made it to the Hulk, we were in line for a good 10 minutes and then they were saying due to the weather, you know, they're not running it right now. So we left at that time. But then of course, by the time we were leaving, they were running it again. And I would've went on that roller coaster. I would go on that roller coaster at some point. But also um, I drove my first jet ski while we were there. It was just such a good experience. I was experiencing genuine joy. We went out to Japanese steakhouse. It was so much fun. I was not ready to come back. It feels nice to be back because I'm back in my place. I did bring my cats with me, so I wasn't, you know, missing them. So I could have really stayed there for longer, but it just, you know, still got things to do here. So we went ahead and came back yesterday, but it was so much fun. 
but I loved it. But yeah, I just want to touch on my trip a little bit because this is really the only time I'll really talk about it. And then I'm going back to Orlando in a couple of days to stay with Paige. So I'm so excited to do that. Also, I've not seen her since February. It's already been five months and it literally blows my mind. But we also have some fun things planned for tonight as well. So I'm just trying to get everything I want to get done before then. What are you doing? You like it? Okay, so I have some food here. This is what I should have done in the first place because since I'm gonna be leaving, I need to eat the food I have here so it doesn't go bad while I'm gone, especially with me being so back and forth for these next couple of weeks. Like I came back and all of my produce and my Hello Fresh meals were, what is it called? Withering? What? Like, they're not good anymore, which sucks. I should have at least frozen the meat. Meat scares me. Like the fact that that turkey bacon was out overnight, there's no, like meat is just, I feel like it could be dangerous if, you know, you don't store it properly. Like you don't want to get sick. So I'm not messing with that. But now I know in advance to freeze instead. <clears throat> okay, so it is now 2.27. And when I tell you, I sat on this floor specifically to unpack my suitcase, but instead I sat on my phone to watch YouTube for a good 15 minutes. I'm telling you, I'm not normally tired at this time. Normally, I be having energy, but I am blaming it on the weather. That's what I'm doing, but that doesn't mean we're not gonna do anything and that I don't have plans later that I'm not trying to get things done by a certain time. And yeah, this is not the way to do it. So I'm just going to start recording, hold myself accountable and get this done because it's not even a whole lot. My place isn't a disaster because I cleaned it before I left, but I really just want to straighten up because you could tell I just got back from a trip and then I can't even see my island and uh, it could definitely it's just in need of a little improvement. So I'm gonna go ahead and take everything out of here. Everything that's in here is clean. Everything that is dirty is being washed right now. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and put away the rest of my clothes that are in my suitcase. Okay guys, so my place is pretty clean for the most part. I do have to go ahead and just put those cat carriers, I have three of them, into the closet in my room. Let me go ahead and, yeah, I'm gonna, bleh, I'm gonna do that in a second. But I have a little protein muffin in the microwave right now and I'm gonna go ahead and eat that. But while I'm doing that, I am gonna also go ahead and run two quick errands. Actually, I could just run no, I'll probably run too. Ari plans to leave within the next hour or so, so I'm not rushing, but I just want to go ahead and leave sooner than later. So with that being said, I'm just going to throw on something a little more suitable for the weather. Just something a little, a little more breathable because I'm really going to die exhaustion in this. Although it's gloomy, it's still hot. That's when the humidity really comes out, so... Okay. What? Hmm. As soon as I pick one up, there's another one at my feet. I see you. I swear sometimes all they want is to be picked up or be pet and they'll just stop crying. Hi. 
Okay, so this is what I decided to wear instead. Pretty much the same thing. I'm just wearing leggings instead of biker shorts. This little jacket um, zip up is from Amazon and my leggings are from Gilly Hicks. I'm gonna go ahead and throw on my Air Maxes and we're gonna just run a couple of errands. back in the car now i was in and out of target so quick put my earbuds in got what i needed to get and left i just got some more mousse because i completely ran out of my other one this was actually like the only mousse they had but i do really like this one one thing about these large knot lists they are really cute the pro they have a lot of pros but one of the main pros for me is how they don't take long to get done but with them bigger parts some parts get frizzy quick definitely not a style that provides the most longevity but that wasn't the point of this style i was just trying to get something for vacation i feel like large knot lists i mean knot lists in general are great but large knot lists they're a vacation hairstyle because they're not intended to last as long as you know small knot lists okay so aria is officially on the way i have about 40 minutes or so until yeah, she gets yeah, here yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep talk, <laughs> It's gonna take me forever to go this way, so I'm just gonna go. Alright, so we are now in my second location, which is going to be Glossier. Glossier is a brand that they make like makeup. They have this one perfume that smells really good. It's a very unique scent. I absolutely love it myself. It's like makeup cosmetic store. They have skincare as well. It's here in the design district, which I don't really go to often. I really like it, but it's normally super busy and I don't know. I've just only been once or twice since I've lived here. But they have a Glossier store, which is insane. I think it's so cool. I never thought. Oh yeah, let me just go run an errand go to glossier not an everyday thing but today i'm here to specifically get ari their perfume that they have it's a perfume that she really likes as well she's been wanting one of her own for a while and i'm gonna get it for her today i don't know yeah i didn't explain earlier why ari and i are hanging out today but tomorrow is her birthday and we're celebrating it together today by going out to dinner we're gonna have a great time i'm not the only person she's celebrating her birthday with but we're just doing something before i go out of town once again but also literally about to get out of the car and it started raining um i'm still gonna go i'm just gonna get my umbrella from the back it's drizzling i'm just hoping it doesn't get any worse than that is it pathetic to walk with an umbrella while it's drizzling i don't care i'm not trying to get wet Okay, now it's just drizzling. I think I'm gonna suck it up. Because I'm not walking around with an umbrella. Umbrella? Umbrella when it's literally drizzling. I need to touch some grass, please. I don't care. I'm not trying, I'm not trying to get wet. I'm paying for parking so my car does not get towed. Okay, I have 27 minutes.
right guys, so while my shower is warming up really quickly, we're gonna open up this Hello Fresh box. I'm also here with Ari. She got here like 30 minutes ago. We just ran up to Publix really quickly and I need to put this in the fridge because I'm not about to have another Hello Fresh. That was so bad. That was so upsetting because those meals look so good. I may be able to keep the meat, but we have pork sausage, rig rigatoni. Mm -hmm. What was that? That looks super good. Mm. Barbecue cheddar burgers. Oh, that one looks good. Okay. We have Tex-Mex pork with mango salsa. Yeah, good. And we have crispy buffalo spice chicken. I don't eat all of them. It's basically a surprise box. Literally. And I kind of like it because it's like your mom cooking for you and you don't really, if you don't give suggestions, she'll just kind of make whatever. Mm -hmm. And you just eat it. I kind of like it. And it helps me broaden my taste buds, eat more vegetables, because if this wasn't portioned out for me, ha. <laughs> We have all of my, also this is like, I genuinely have a subscription with them. I love HelloFresh, you guys hear me talk about them quite frequently. It's crazy because it's like, when you talk about something you really love, why do you have to disclaim it? Disclaim it, yeah. That is not a sponsorship. Yeah. But I would but. never sponsor her, please! Get that bag. I would never like, partner with anyone that I didn't actually like anyway, but you know. Ooh, oh, New York cheesecake! Oh! Oh, this is like the first little complimentary snack thing that they've given me that I'll probably actually eat. All right, so this meat looks good. <laughs> I'm excited. It looks like bacon. It does. It's pork chops. Period. I love pork chops. Like, I don't know. I mean, if the meat is refrigerated, it's not even open. Oh, yeah, that's good. I'm Just, good? You would have to use that by like tomorrow. Because you got it on Friday, right? I think so. On um, this, I got it. Sausage, chicken breast. I got to look at all this. Honestly, meat. put it in the freezer. Alright. I would have to open it. Does it feel like really cold to touch that like you can only hold it for so long? Yeah, put it in the freezer. Okay. It's not really supposed to be good, but hey. Yeah, I'll try it. Like if I open it and it smells okay, it must be fine. But if it stinks, it's another story. I'm gonna put these in here. Hello Fresh, like this was such a good idea. It's like pre portioned meal planning meals kind of, but for less expensive. Especially if you're by yourself, because I get the two portion size box. Oh, so each of these make two servings. So I have one for dinner and then one the following day. So it's really convenient. Okay, I'm gonna hop in the shower real quick before I get ready because I was sweating running errands and then we're gonna do my makeup, get a little dolled up. Mm. Super excited. <laughs> Oh, 
I live in Broward County. Well, I just moved here like eight months ago. From Broward? No. She moved here from another state. Yeah. State. North Carolina? I definitely don't want. Wait, they took out all the seats and stuff outside. You remember when they had outdoor seating? Yeah, they were doing a bunch of comments. I definitely have to use the bathroom, and I want you to go with me. Okay. Oh, wait. <laughs> oh, this is a heavy door. Hi. Thank you. We're going to sleep for two, but we're going to go. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna use you use the bathroom or no? Okay, I'll be honest. How the fuck is this shit locked? Oh. Why is it so zoomed in? The mustache. Then the mustache. No mustache. So, <laughs> no, a mustache is so. The mustache. Like, <laughs> like, like, you know, French style. Oh no, oh, no. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and you see, it's no one. He was giving the evil villain. It's not, but it's no one. It's. You see a bunch of them in the back. <laughs> so it's. I mean, Nashville is. It's like fun, that, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. You see that that food trucks over here? Mm hmm That is everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> the first one I saw in Nashville, but was not a food truck, was a two-floor coffee shop. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Was it hippie? Ah, uh, well, not a food truck, but the people that went in there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a food truck with the people for sure. Ooh. It's crazy. You see the crazy stuff in there. I bet. I've never been. I, like I think I, I think you see crazy stuff in Miami. I can only imagine. Wee! Such a difference makes them look fresh. Oh, good morning, guys! Right now it is 10:41. Your girl is out the house. I just got out of Publix. I ran in there real quick to get not really breakfast, but just something to tie me over for the time being. Today's just a morning. I need to eat something light. You know, I normally have my big breakfasts, but this morning definitely called for a yogurt parfait. So that's exactly what I got. So I'm gonna be eating that. And then I also brought my leftover fried rice. 
from last night. What was I gonna say? Oh yeah, so I actually have two appointments scheduled in this video. I know you guys just saw me go and get my nails done in my last video. Not my toes, they were already done. But um, by the time I uploaded that video, it had already been, I don't know, probably going on two weeks. Basically, I posted the video not long ago, but my nails and everything, like I've had on for longer than the video's been up. So my nails I've had on for over three weeks at this point, I think. They still don't look bad, they're just grown out. And I'd like to get them done again before I leave. As well as my toes, I want my toes to be white for this trip and it's just about time. My toes last so much longer than my nails, but I do want to get those touched up before I leave and I want to go with white, they're like this green color right now, which I really like, but um, definitely wanting to, I don't know, find out like that. I don't even know where it's coming from, I don't think so. I didn't do anything. But yeah, we're on the way to my toe appointment first. <laughs> Okay, so update, it has been just about an hour, not even, since I last talked to you guys and I got my toes done. Thankfully, I already had a set on, so I just got a fill in. This jacket is pissing me off because I feel like I'm wearing a turtleneck, but like, that's not, that wasn't the goal. So my next appointment isn't until 2.30 and I'm definitely not gonna need to be out for that entire time. So I'm just gonna go back to the house, lay down because I'm still tired. I was not ready to get up, eat this parfait because I still haven't ate that. I just had leftovers from last night. My chicken fried rice, it was really good but not enough so yeah I'm just gonna go chill to my next appointment it's a little bit later I'm very excited I love getting my nails done I haven't had a filling in a while which I'm really excited about because one hello it's less expensive and yeah it's just really the fun part just drilling off that last style and making them look brand new fresh again So, update, it is now 2.18. I am now on my way to my nail appointment. I definitely have more energy than I did before because I've eaten a little bit, not a whole lot. I'm about to dig into these tacos on the way to my appointment. So took a little lunch break didn't get to eat them yet because the last you know 10 minutes I was at the house before I left I had to clean up the yogurt I spilled all over the place It was a mess Thank you your bestest. It's sad that like it's impressive when people show human decency when driving here like that's horrible. But anyway, little break to go to Wynwood really quickly to this place called the Taco Stand. And apparently they just have amazing tacos. I will say, this shit is expensive. This one little taco was like $4.30. And I got three of them. But apparently they're bust down. The line on any other day, today is a Tuesday middle of the day so there was nobody in line whatsoever but normally the line is trailing outside of the building and it goes on for a while but i got um three al pastor tacos and i also got uh elote which i already ate that's the one thing i made time to eat before i left i don't know it's kind of miss oh well mm, it's falling apart but it was good as fuck mm. she's having a napkin I'm about to get my nails done. Ew. I'll wash my hands before anything.
Okay guys, so it is a lot later. It's 11.41 and I have yet to clean or pack. And my dumbass think I'm gonna be up at five. I don't even know where to start. I just don't wanna leave my place a hot mess. And although I just, did I clean it in this video already? I didn't completely finish, but it was just, I mean, as long as I'm in the apartment, it's just, but, you know, if I'm just, you know, if I turn on music and clean for not even an hour, I'll be fine. And then I've also yet to pack. Like, it's like I just set myself up to be stressed out because, I mean, I've been moving throughout the day. But, you know, it's okay. But, I'm just gonna go ahead and do my skincare, apply some lotion. Normally, I would shower after I clean, but I'm not gonna really get too worked up. And then also, it is nearly 12 a.m. already, and I don't want to sit in my nasty ass gym clothes for another hour. So, with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and just finish up my skincare, put on some comfy clothes, so we can already just kind of prepare for the evening, and then I'm just gonna straight up my plan. Okay, first of all, it's like 1.30 in the morning. Second of all, I cannot believe that I'm packing this suitcase again already. It has been 48 hours, I think. Look, all I know is that I'm not going to be coherent enough to do this in the morning. So, we're going to go ahead and get it done tonight. At least for the most part. Just getting some packing done. Just packing a bunch of clothes and anything that I'm not going to have to use tomorrow morning. And then, I'll also just make a checklist to make sure I don't miss anything that I'm going to have to just, you know, throw into my suitcase tomorrow morning. These are just some clothes that I washed and folded. I just took them right out of the dryer, but I kept these aside because I knew I was gonna wanna pack them. Just like some comfy clothes and just things that'll be convenient for my stay. I've been vlogging at 6.30 in the morning. Yeah, different territory, but like, I don't even feel like my voice sounds the same as it normally does. I don't normally sound like this, do I? I don't think I do. I talk to myself all the time. But I am currently on my way to Orlando. But honestly, I just think it's so cool how I'm just able to drive here, drive to Orlando like it's another day, opposed to booking a whole flight to go and visit. And you know, I don't have my car. And although, you know, we have a source of transportation when I'm there, it never hurts to have your own source of transportation. Like the fact that I can just drive here is insanity to me. Like it still hasn't hit 
but the roads are definitely starting to get a little more busy now that it's a little later it's 6 30. i'm sure people are going to work maybe even just getting back home girl i don't know what these people got going on but i got my coffee this is my first time trying it actually i got gas i'm good look at my squishy though also just got a little lemon glow my body is definitely not used to eating this early in the morning so i just got something light and i'm sure i'll stop to get something on the way or once i get there we'll see it is too early but yeah guys this video is not being continued into my orlando trip yeah i am gonna go ahead and close off this video here oh, let me make sure i'm doing it right i think i'll be on this road for a while yeah i still have 34 miles but Honestly, I'm excited for the drive. It's really not bad. It's like three hours and 20 minutes and it goes by a lot faster, but 